grass is green, the sun is shining, and there's a cool in the air. It's a wonderful day for baseball. It's a great day for baseball. In a previous video, we discussed the basic rules of the game of baseball. Let's look at the layout of the field again. There's first base, second base, third base, and home plate. Remember, each team gets three outs per inning to try to score as many runs as they can. Let's look at the pitcher. The pitcher is one of the two most important players on the field. The other is the catcher. These two players can do the most damage by making mistakes. When a batter comes up, his goal is to hit the ball safely and reach first base and eventually second, third, and home. If he comes all the way home, it's considered a run, one run. The pitcher throws the ball to the catcher, trying to make sure the batter doesn't do any of those things. If the pitcher throws the ball and the batter misses it, it's called a strike. If the batter gets to three strikes, he's called out. Three outs and the inning is over and the team switch sides. If the batter hits the ball into foul territory, this area out here, it's a strike as well, unless he already has two strikes. Then he can hit as many foul balls as possible and still not be out. If the pitcher throws the ball and the batter does not swing, it can still be a strike. If the ball is thrown into what's called the strike zone, this is a batter standing at home plate. The strike zone is that area between the batter's knees and just below his chest, commonly called the letters, right about the armpits, and the width of home plate. If the ball is thrown into that area and the batter does not swing, it's called a strike. Remember, three strikes and you're out. However, if the pitcher throws the ball and the batter does not swing and the ball is outside of this strike zone, then it's called a ball. If a batter gets a total of four balls, he gets a base on balls, which means he gets to go to first base free of charge just as if he had gotten a hit safely. Hitting the ball safely means hitting the ball to a place where there is no fielder and the batter reaches first base. This is called a hit. If the batter reaches second base on a hit, it's called a double. If he reaches third base on a hit, it's called a triple. And if he reaches home plate on a, trip, on a hit, it's called a home run. Usually, that's not the way it works. Usually a home run is when someone hits the ball completely out of the ballpark, over these guys' heads, and completely out of the ballpark. If that happens, it's called a home run, and he can cautiously or gingerly run around the bases without the fear of being put out. It's a big achievement and difficult to do. If a major league player does this 25 times in a year, he's considered a star. Most major league batters will get the chance to bat about 500 times and hitting 25 home runs is a very small percentage as you can see. If the ball is hit out of the park in fair territory, the batter again may casually run around the bases without fear of being put out. That's a home run and it counts for one run. Now let's get back to the outs. If a batter hits the ball to a fielder on the ground, say, say here, to this batter, this fielder, any of these fielders, that fielder has the job to throw to first base and put the man out. If the ball hit on the ground is thrown to first base before the batter reaches first base, the batter's out. If the batter reaches first base before the ball does, it's called a safe hit. Anytime the ball is hit into the air and a fielder catches it before it hits the ground, it's an out, just like this. If he catches it, or he catches it, or he catches it, before it hits the ground, it's an out. If the ball is hit on the ground in foul territory, this area out here, before it crosses either first or third base, it's called a foul ball, and the play starts over. Anytime the ball is hit into the air, and any fielder catches it before it hits the ground, again, it's an out. Now, if there are runners on base, such as in this instance, they have the opportunity to run to the next base, but only after the fielder catches it. 
and only if they go back and do what's called tagging up. So let's say the ball's hit in the air and this man is on second base and he runs down to here. But he knows that this man's going to catch the ball in the air. So he runs back here, steps on the bag, and waits on the bag until this man catches it. As soon as he catches it, he can run. And his attempt would be to third base. Now this man can throw the ball to third base and try to get him out. But he has to tag him out with the ball and the glove before he gets to the base safely. That's called tagging up. There is also such thing as a force play. Let's take a look at this. If there's a runner on first base, and the ball is hit on the ground, the runner on first base is forced to run to second base. If the fielder throws the ball to somebody at second base before this man gets to the base, this man is out. It's called a force play. It also happens if there are men on first and second base and the force play is at third base. This is a very important part of learning the game. Force outs can be made at any base as long as there is a man on first base, a man on first and second base, or a man on first, second, and third base, which is called the bases are loaded. There are more rules and situations in the game of baseball, but hopefully this gives you the basics to understand the game in its simplest form. Stay tuned for more videos on the fundamentals of the game, including playing the outfield, playing first base, playing catcher. Keep at it, because baseball is a wonderful game.